Hello everyone, good evening to you all. How are you all doing? Welcome to Newsroom Media. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. Now let's take a look at the headline for this evening. How we received order not to repel Boko Haram attack on Borno Town. Before I go into details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, like why are you not subscribed to Newsroom Media? This is the best channel you can be on on YouTube. If you're on YouTube and you're not subscribed to Newsroom Media, just know that you are missing a lot. So please go ahead and subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. Now, without further ado, let's dive straight into the details of today's news. A military source has explained why the Nigerian Army of 5 Brigade and 145 Battalion could not repel Boko Haram attack on Damaska, Damaka Town, sorry if I mother that name, Bono State, despite every military presence. The military source told reporters that Brigadier General SS Tilawan had asked soldiers to stay back rather than attack the terrorists who invaded Damasak town on Saturday. According to him, the Boko Haram militant had come through the town where civilians are residing, making it difficult for the fighter aircraft to strike. He said the Air Force personnel had monitored the movement of the terrorists and informed foot soldiers who ought to tactically combat the attack. He, however, said SS Tilawan had soldiers to retreat. Giving the terrorists a smooth operation, the Boko Haram terrorists came through Damasak town and started the attack from 4.04 p.m. to 8 p.m. The attack lasted for that long. The Boko Haram militants came through the town where civilians live. The Air Force personnel tried. They were there on time to attack Boko Haram, but could not because of civilians. It was supposed to be the duty of the army to enter that town and fish out these bad boys, but we don't even have what to use, talkless of other things. The jets cannot bomb that town because the Boko Haram militants came from where civilians are staying. And the governor of this state, Baba Ghana Zulum, has so much confidence in this battalion that is why he opened IDP's camp in Damasak to protect his people because he so much love his people. He wants to ensure that the people live comfortably, but now it seems like the army has failed the man due to high corruption in the army. This country is so bad. With my five years in the army, even common ailments we don't have, even those who fought first and second world wars use the helmets to fight and in this modern day and age we don't have a helmet i am i am very angry within a month now we have lost 18 soldiers in this battalion because of one useless brigadier commander ss tilawan they brought to us this man is creating unnecessary work he scattered the camp i believe he is an agent of boko haram a few days ago, a company was dislodged by Boko Haram militants and when our people tried to go for reinforcements, it said we should not go, that day we lost 10 soldiers and today, when the jets came, they told us that they could sight the Boko Haram guys but could not bomb because civilians were there and that we should go with our little weapons and recapture the town. Tilawan still gave order that we should not go to that town. He has forgotten that we are here because of these people. The world should come and do something about this man before the issue gets out of hand. The governor should know that his people are no longer safe because of the Brigadier General SS Tilawan. He should come fast and do something. People are dying anyhow and we are here for them. I don't know the number of people who died, but I know Boko Haram militants entered the area and looted it. I feel angry because we could not help these people and we are here for them. It is my duty as a Nigerian soldier to protect people, but there is nothing we can do when our leaders make decisions against the people. Boko Haram killed people in the town and injured some. 
the people are doing burials in their cemetery now. We wouldn't rescue them yesterday. We wouldn't, we would have, sorry, rescued them yesterday. But the commander gave the order that we should not enter the town. They didn't enter our camp, but they looted the Damascus town in their, to their satisfaction. They even took civilian cars away. We lost three soldiers to yesterday's attack, totaling 18 soldiers under just one month. Reporters had earlier reported how the Boko Haram fighters invaded Damascus town in, Bo in Bono State on Saturday, burning United Nations facilities and forcing humanitarian workers to flee for their lives. It was learned that the terrorists aided by their deadlier Islamic State West African province fighter set fire to the UN office and at least three other international charity organizations contiguous to the UN facility. The terrorists came into the town in gun trucks. They first embarked on a looting spree. They carted away aid supplies meant for the internally displaced persons before they set fire to the UN orb in the town and three other buildings belonging to other aid organizations, a source in the town narrated. This news is coming to you from Newsroom Media. Thank you very much for always supporting this channel, watching my videos. I am so appreciative of all of you. May God bless you in return. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain for today. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Also give this video a thumbs up. Most importantly, click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we post. We still have more great news coming your way today. Please stay with us.